that's what we're working with today is a 2015 Camry. Coilovers are already installed in the front. We're just gonna knock out the backs today. And what we're putting in is tank coilovers. They are the Street Advance. Is it Street Z Advance? Yeah. Or Street Z Advance Z. Z. Front's already on, but now we have the rear. You get the top of the strut here. Uh, you got the three bolts there. Um, you just have to take off these panels that uh, are on the back of the seat. I originally thought you had to take off that speaker cover, but it's not. It's not the speaker cover that you need to take off. It's just the panels. Oh, hey, hey, hey. And um, you have to get there from underneath the trunk. Here. And these are the basic clips that are panels kind of sit like this. In the trunk. We have the clips right here that are kind of wedged into the plastic clips into the the car. But the clips that you need to knock out are the ones that are on top here. And then you do the same thing with the other side. It looks like there's one, two, three four things that it's connected to, but the clips on top are these two bad boys here. Jacks. Jacks on the car. Everything's off now. Got the whole Pittsburgh set now. It's gonna be a 12 for the brake line. Or 10. 10 for the brake line and all. What, 22? Yeah, I think it's 22. You gotta get the brake line out the way first. It's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty straight. One, two, three, four. The hardest part is this one. Yeah. You get those two subjects off, and it's easy. Ah, uh, you, 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 need, you might need a, an alignment after this. What is the tie rod right there? Yeah, I definitely need it. So. One for the brake line here. And one for the tie rod in here. And you gotta break these two damn big ass bolts. And you gotta break the three bolts from inside. And you're out. One, two, three, four. Is it moving though? Is it play? Shoot that one off while you're here. The rest, of them I do it up by hand. I don't need to. Come on, man. That's that's too strong for those who break. I got you. Don't bet it. I think I need to break the bar. So bracket. Huh? Have a connection like that. Maybe uh, a sensor line. You can see that one. Alright, then you got this one. This one's hard. We'll get it. It's fucking Euro. This is a C. Come on. moving but I need to change it in old dusty huh? Alright. Right. I wish it was all I guess it's just worn out. Push it all worn out. 
See, that's why you can't impact it because of the spin. Uh, so you used the hex key? Yeah, oh. keep it in place. There's the hex key right there. Yeah, I think now what, a 12? A 12 wrench? Uh, I think it's a 14. 14. 14 so wrench. You gotta take get it these out. Guys out. These guys out. Swivels, dude. There's another one that bends. Yeah, I don't have one. I have just this one. Right there. The one that bends. Yeah, it's right there on the ground. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't bring it. Dude, you're too used to driving hatches. <laughs> that box up there makes it tough for you to put in that wrench in there, huh? Yeah. Get auto, get the, uh, the battery in there. The thing to be tight is I'll see that. It's gonna be that strut to pull it over. The probably, it? We could probably tighten it before we put it in. Cause you gotta take, pop this thing off and tighten it from here. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna do that. Worst thing is losing the bolt. And a little crevice down there. Stay there forever. What'd you spend on this coilover set? The coilovers are like almost 800 bucks. And then you, you gotta buy the mounts. Out. The mounts in the back are like 50. The mounts? The bumps. Why don't you just use the stock mounts? I want the old ones. Oh, I, gotcha. you. I want to keep them the old. I want to keep the stock ones like this. Yeah. You don't have to bust them. So if you ever need to take them out, yeah. you just throw them back in. Huh? Screwdriver through it, like through it, yeah, and hit it. No, I'm not from the other side, like this, yeah, through the hole. Yeah, yeah. you don't have enough room, but it's too short, though.
brake is. Like the brake is almost in the way. Oh, that sucks. Dude, I gotta break it. It's fine. Is yeah. it? I got this loose in case and pull it out. Oh, man. I didn't see that. Oh, well. Supposed to see that top one there, but this one should be coming off. Let me see. This is a uh, 17, maybe? No. You probably wiggle it out, dude. You get the top one out? Let's see what happens. No, it's like it's like touching this one now. This much thread. That's interesting. Yeah, you can rotate it out. This much face. That might Hopefully work. Hopefully it'll fucking. Yeah, well, I need to move it around, right? Now oh, there's all this tension on that one. Huh? Take up the caliper. <laughs> take the top pull up. All right, turn this out. Here, I'm gonna give you a pry bar. Still factory. <laughs> Almost looks factory, just green, right? They're gonna be hauling ass on those turns, huh? They're gonna be scraping. No, that's not my stuff. <laughs> You gotta roll your fenders? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that way, but it's close. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if I should tighten this. Just, uh, are you gonna tighten the dampening? No, tighten. Uh... Oh, the strut. Yeah. Impact that. No, I guess break it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Chris gonna pop him in there while I work in there. <laughs> That's the worst part, like can't see anything, huh? I honestly rather do it this way too to let it hang. Dude, this used to suck back in the day. I would have to like connect the bottom first and I'll jack it up. Right there, got it. Hold it, yeah. You get one all the way down. All, all right, it won't even go all the way down. It kind of stopped like in the very top. Go back up again, one more time. Get that last one until it stops. Go higher. Yeah, it stopped right there. There's, there's uh. Yeah, I gotta get in line. Yeah. All right, cool. Those are my favorite suspension too. Yeah, I had the same ones on my Z. Yeah, Plex Z, no problem. Huh? Same Flex? Flex Z's. Oh. They don't make the Flex Z's, I would have uh, gotten those for sure. I don't know what the hell I had. <laughs> 
But um, I bought them used and um, flipped the car. And the only thing that was left over that I could save and sell was the suspension on them. Can't go wrong with Japan, man. I'm trying to get that bolt in here. You bring a change of clothes? No. You're not going out after this? You gotta give me a t-shirt. Alright, this shirt. You can take a shower too, full. Cause we're gonna... So those bolts are in now. Alright. Just your type, right? Like a brand new car, right? Exactly. Alright, this is the hard part. Alright, let's like back on. Bolts are back in. What'd you say was the easiest way to do that? Put the bottom one in first? Yeah, you gotta do the bottom one in first and then... Did the caliper get in the way though? The caliper did get in the way, but you Going back bust in. out the top one and then you Basically, oh, I meant putting it back in. Though. Put it back in. Probably put the first one in. The, the bottom, bottom one. The bottom? Okay, yeah, gotcha. put the bottom one in, then get the top one. Save. So we gotta tighten those. Get this guy in. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. That's lower. Oh, there. You lifted it. So you're lifting from here. You can use a jack. You're used to working by yourself, I can tell. Yeah. This thing's spinning now, so we gotta oh, wait for the next. Yeah, and this goes. Let's go back to the easier one now. 12. And then like 10. This. And like that, probably. 10. Line. Yeah. So the only things you gotta torque really to spec are this. These just torque as hard, hard Dude, as you I can. I can't believe you freaking. And then those. Did that on your own. Well, yeah, it took. You know, I got that like I started at 7:30. I didn't finish till 11:30. PM. Yeah. Got off work and then. I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. Actually, you did tell me about it, mm -hmm. huh? I just never really thought about it. <laughs> Break it right. In the Boom! It just spins. It'll stay there forever. Yeah. I swear. Won't come back out. Car steering line? No. Wait. No, it's ABS. Car, ABS line. Yeah, oh, ABS brake line. Abs brake line. All right. Pretty tight. And it's like ten pounds one. of torque right there. You're good. You know about that. No, this is different. Hmm? This? Oh, shoot. Because that one. You know flat. what you're going to need to do? Put that wrench back on it, around it, and then hit it with the. No. Spin it with the uh, wrench, ratchet. Mm, I'm going to do the other way. Yeah. Is it spinning from the back? Yeah, it's coming in. Oh, cool. It's reverse time. That's weird, huh? How it's reversed? Yeah, because it's spinning. Oh, spinning yeah, I got you. Time for another. Damn, it's kind of Euro. Alright, now we can open up a shop specializing in Camrys now. Shh. <laughs> Everyone's going to know why I know why the car's so slow. Dude, it's a 
a downhill monster where power isn't an issue. That's right. Take those turns, those Mustangs will fly off the mountain. Are we torquing them down to specs? No, I'm just going to tighten those just a little bit. Yeah. Gonna test out later. Wiggle it, kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it. Oh, nothing up. No, we gotta get the top ones and these. Oh yeah. So I, I'll just jack it up for you. No wait, let's um, tighten this one first. Oh, those. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You have an impact wrench set, or you have to plug it in, huh? He has a plug in. I didn't. I didn't have it last time. Oh. So I did this all by hand, like breaker bar. Oh my pipe, fucking pipe lord! Pipe. What are you thinking? Like hold one, break it. Oh and hell no! Are, and these are all like on. These are all like that. It'll, it'll tighten. Oh, that off. I'll say just squeeze on the, the air air gun. No, it's pretty good. That won't move anymore, dude. Could this? Yeah, that won't move. That won't either, dude. Just hit it from this side. Oh, you're hand tightening it, huh? No, I'm not hand tightening, just keep it in place. It'll spin it. Oh, it won't. Yes, sir. Let's put eventually. Tap, tap, and hold the tap. All right, this is how I'm going to help you. Right there. Oh, I put it Is it high enough? Yeah. It's still going up. Is it going up still? It's good right now. All right. I'm just squeezing the coil, huh? It's all the way up, right? Yeah, it's all the way up. All right, cool. So here I raised up the jack onto the, one of the control arms to get the spring and strut coil over so that the thread can show all the way through. And then this way Chris can tie it down by hand. Are you running stiff or? No, it's not. Slowly but surely. You're on it, so I'm just gonna get my camera angle. You're good. That sucks. The last one's gonna suck. That can't fit uh, the, the machine in there? No, this one is. This one, because even the socket wasn't. In there. Okay. Little by little. It's getting hard now because no space. Oh really? You got yeah. Oh, I gotcha. You need like a socket that's in between, huh? Uh, this, damn it. 
Because it's still got some range, right? That's the most range. I know that. Yeah, I know. I don't have that tool. No, no, that's no. Military yeah, Marine, yeah. Should be good. All done. One side's done. Catch that. Well, I guess we'll leave those tools in there, right? Mm -hmm. For the inside. Let's get this shit off. And put the wheel back on too, no? Come on, Chris, I just want to do the easy parts. Hey man, just look good, all right? Huh? Just, just look good, man. Always. This is your project, man. <laughs> I'm just here for the impact button, man. <laughs> an estimate. I think I'm there. Just leave it.